Hey, what's going on guys? This is Reboot here, coming with a live stream Friday night. Playing some MLB The Show. Skip this demo mode. Let it sit there for a minute. Hope y'all are doing fantastic. The weekend is here. Uh, getting closer to Christmas. We're going to do a Friday night stream. We're going to do something a little bit different uh, than the first person shooters. Uh, so we're going to be playing Road to the Show and MLB The Show 22. I've done a little bit of this uh, before, but um, I've got an Xbox, and so this is one of the games on Game Pass. So I figure, well, I'll just get back into it, you know, start streaming it a little bit, uh, doing some videos with it. So we are going to start a Road to the Show um, path pathway uh, i think we're going to do a picture because i think the last one that i did was a picture and we only did like one episode so i think we're going to do that um that'll work out nice for us um so yeah uh hope y'all are doing fantastic we're not going to waste much time uh if you guys would if anybody's watching if you would uh just check out my youtube channels I dropped the upload today, uh, City Skylines. It's another uh, town build. So, if you haven't already checked that out, uh, a like on that, comment, give me some feedback. Uh, just tell me what you think. And yeah, so we're going to get right into this. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to set up a ball player. We're just going to give him a random name. Just going to do a picture. See, do do velocity starting pitcher. These are your starting pitches. You can change these in your loadout later. So, four seam fastball, change up, and curveball. Finish and go to appearance. See what kind of names we got to work with. Randomize it. to pick from uh. Let's go, go with the first name Hunter. On the first name. Last name. Let's see what do we want to give him for a last name? Let's see. So they give you a lot of names to work with. That's for sure. Let's get out the W's.
go with McKay. So Hunter McKay, let's make it that. Capitalize the K. Sure, McKay. Let's make, let's see what we want the number to be. 33. Lefty. Let's make him a lefty. Lefty. Like them on the East Coast. Do like Tennessee or something. School appearance of it. Show Ted. The Woodsman. Beard. Let's go to one. Me. Over Nani. That was easy. Let's go with Nani. E. Yep, man.
sleepy. Done. So that is Hunter McKay. Up first. Getting into it. We're back at it with another season of the Road to the Show podcast. I'm your host, Ben Gelman. Today, we're focusing on the Major League Baseball amateur draft, specifically on one of my diamonds in the rough. This is a player, not a household name yet. There's a long way to go. Maybe not at the top of the draft class, but I, I think there's a real future at the Major League level for this player. I have Hall of Fame outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. with me today. Ken, what advice would you give this player who might not be considered a sure thing to make it? What would you tell them as they begin their professional journey? Yeah, I mean, you have an opportunity. Anytime you have an opportunity to to impress somebody, uh, uh, to go out there and, and do something. The man, the myth, the legend. They don't care, you know, who you are, what round, what this, what that. They just want you to go out there and play. And if you can perform day in and day out, you will be in the big leagues. With the MLB draft already underway, a young prospect shares his expectations with a former coach. Have you been talking to any particular team, Hunter? Uh, just want to play ball for the club that wants me the most. There's one team I've heard from more than a couple times. Not really, but I know what type of club I'd like to play for. Um... Uh, I think we're just going to go for that. Uh, uh, we're just going to let somebody draft us. Go with that. So we'll see who... Uh, Carlos, <laughs> you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely find exciting. out you know who we're about to get drafted. You will get the call. Uh, We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources, my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's tough enough mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. And we get drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies. I don't know if I'm too happy about that. Big Braves what? fan here. Are you kidding me? This is who we are drafting? You must be crazy. He is a career minor leaguer. He's not a major league player. We wasted a draft pick, a high one at that, here. This is why we don't win. This is a terrible, terrible pick. Oh, my goodness gracious. Come on, fellas. Do your work. Do some research. Awful, awful selection. I hate this pick. Thing. How you really feel? So, player. Loadout hub. Loadout determines exactly how your ball player will perform on the field. You navigate your loadouts by using. Will be your RB. 
Shots and RB at the end of the list will create a new loadout. On the right side of the screen, you'll find the options to edit your equipment, manage your loadout, and select your pitches. On the left, we have your archetype item, big diamond that boosts your attributes, allows you to get perks. Just to find two. The archetype is selected. Press X to open this program or A to select a different item. Got painted cheese and filthy cheese. And she's going to give me a better overall rating. Pitches up a bit. We're seeing do uh -oh. seem Let's go slurve. The slaughter splitter. Change our pose because we're pitcher. That'll work for now. Rolls are this is on the box. It's the setting. Meters, the one I use, PS4 version. Find out. We're 
We're talking about one of my favorite picks in this year's MLB Amateur Draft, and I'm joined by mental performance coach Kellen Lee. Kellen, what have you heard about this particular prospect? You know, I, when you sent over the list of, of people we're going to talk about, I had to do some extra research on this one. This is a guy that I, you know, flew under the radar and I really wasn't as familiar with. Uh, but after doing a little bit more research, uh, talked to some coaches, talked to the people that know him personally, it sounds like he's got some really strong intangibles. Sounds like he was a great teammate as an amateur player. And I would imagine that the organization perhaps did their homework a little bit and found out a little bit about him uh, that other teams didn't because it sounds like he brings a lot to the table on the, on the mental side of the game. And as Yogi Berra famously said, baseball is 90% mental, the other half is physical. Now, math on that aside, Kellen, how much has baseball emphasized mental toughness, mental development in recent years? Yeah, there's been a huge shift in a lot of the organizations and players are turning to the mental side of the game to be just a regular part of player development, all the way from the minor leagues, all the way up to the major leagues. Uh, some of those mental performance skills include building confidence, establishing Going routines, through this little, uh, uh, setting really effective goals, maintaining same. motivation, visualization. The sky's the limit. But really what we know is that a really solid mental game allows these players to tap into their physical game more consistently. Oh, so first game of the season. We are about to play it and get this thing started. Uh, game of the 2022 season. We're thrilled to be inside All American Park, opening day 2022 on MLB. See what we got. So we're First on the pitch coming at you right after the break. Ready to go now. And on the mound today, Hunter McKay. What do you have on him, Siggy? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that Jesus, I'm going to be looking you. for in this one. Does that. he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to First get one pitch, or two over the Fastball, 95. Let, yeah, let's change. Uh, I have no idea. I can't. Takes on where he wants. Now it's. Not there. Tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he's going to be very tough for the opponent today. Next Too pitch early. is outside. First ball. Same way. Deals. Fouled off. He was late. Fouled it over the plate. One, two count. Come on, fellas, let's go. The pitch. Splitter and down the way. He stays alive. No one down here. There we go. Zone. Swing uh, and a comes in on his hands, but still gets him. Right past him. So there's first strikeout. First strikeout double in double A. a. And he's hoping that's the type of stuff that can get him to the big leagues. And one of the keys for pitchers at this level is being aggressive. You know, Early double A, it. they say, is a springboard to the big leagues. So showing that you're not afraid fielder. to go after guys, throw strikes, get punch outs. If he can do that down here in the minors, he'll move up the ladder in no time. Two outs, base is empty. Austin. Stepping in, Austin Wells. Up with a fastball. First offering Ball. and it just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Slider inside a little bit. Hit weekly on the ground. ground ball to the shortstop. Can he make the play? Throws the and he does just that in time. Ends the frame. End of a half inning of play. The bottom of it. 
Back here at the ballpark. Top of the second. Here's the third base. Fastball up. Three. up. The third base. Out. Three. Away. First offering misses the mark. Two outside. Down in the zone now. Swings through Puts that. In on his hands. And now the lefty. Oh, man. Fly ball to right. Williams settles fly underneath ball to it. the right fielder. Puts it away for the out. First out of the second inning. Now here's Chris Owens. The center fielder, number 11, Chris Owens. He swings and fouls one off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Change up, down and away. Next it's too much to play. He got away with that one. Down the zone. And a pitch. Stays alive. Falls it off. Okay, because we're going to try to hit him with a change up. And he the swings over the top of it. Two away Get down. the K. He came out Second of his K of the game. There. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that Not time. Little anxious. First and now Number Spencer 14. Henson swings through that oh, one. Oh, and one. The pitch started after it. Tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. Eric Summerskill with the call. The pitch. Saw it again. And a pop, pop up. up right side. Foul Garland, territory. Garland, Garland. Akami makes the catch and, and that'll the do second it. Inning. We got a one nothing lead. Welcome back. Now here is Michael Beltre. Leading off for summer in McKay back to work. Michael Beltre. Ball one, oh, no strikes. Uh, and a strike. This is part of the bottom of the zone, so now we're one one. And a pitch. So Slaughter a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. Well, Got him with the fastball. Now one away. Third K. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. Inside plate. You know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Two now. Did a nice job right there. Come inside with a fastball. And we get him, so that's fourth K of the game. Three scoreless. Now it's the second no, not, baseman. Number nine. Not over yet. Just blown away in that at bat. Out. Fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Gotta have better timing on the fastball next time. That off, that's one, two. The wind and the pitch. And, and strikes him out, so that's fifth K. That. that ends the third inning. Here to start the game. We are playing this on veteran difficulty. Back, off, Anthony Volpe. Hey, two, we can change it. The pitch. The put this on dynamic Anthony or something. Volpe. Swing and a foul back, that's out of play. State or the splitter, and so if he comes. swings over the top of it, and that one fouled off. Of the plate. Fouls off the fastball. 
Bowling Chew down. Uh, Stays alive. Oh. A change up out of the zone. Field two. Foul ball. Ooh, Adam get him with the change up. So that's number six. Up. One up, one down. And now the DH, Everson Pereira. Pretty dirty pitch. First pitch doesn't Fun. find the zone. The Patriots yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss. The count. Rocks him out again. Two down. Just absolutely Number rolling seven, I believe. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Well, oh. the next to hit takes ball one. Long pitch. I think pitch. it's fastball. That missed inside. That's, ball yeah, that's ball two. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat right here. He's been patient, and now he's in the driver's seat with a 2-0 count. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Uh, come on now. Next offering is fouled back. We got 2-2. Two, two. two outs. This one in the air right field. My ball to the right fielder. Racing over to make the catch. So that ends the four. Twelve down to be. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Now the third baseman, number three. The third baseman, number three, Armando. There's a strike. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you Pull what, up, one you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Next offering is in for a strike. Nope. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Got him looking. Calls a strike Here's three, so that's number eight. Wow, that's I'm on the changeup. That's a dirty the pitch, will man. Take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Oh, and he dives and makes an amazing catch. So a great the left fielder lays out, grabs him out for us. The route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, StatCast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it Jack gets. Nice one takes care of that. Line to it. Ends the top the fifth. fifth. Top six. And now, Michael Beltre. Right Here comes a pitch. Michael Beltre. That's through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Uh, wrong one. With two now. Uh, we still get the K. That's number nine on the changeup. Oh, there's a three-pitch strike. Thanks, Dirty. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Number four. Number four, the next to hit Hold takes outside. Right, fellas, and a pitch. And a foul ball. Call that off. Two. On one again, but I think it's change up. Kicks deals on the ground, right side, and it gets call that a fair ball. Their first of the ball game. That's going to be a double for him. And the time a mistake runs at pitch. second base with a double. 
Number 93 get next to hit. That's in there for strike one. Zone. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner, second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus. Hey. This one's into the outfield. Keep it up. The extra bases. That's going to tie the ball game. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Number 93, the runner at second with one away. The next pitch misses, and the count is 1 and 1. And he puts over the top of it. Or a warning change. Either one, something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Next pitch is outside. Two and two. Man at second. And we get the strike out for the fastball. That's number 10. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left. So expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per Ooh. inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going they to fly have out a there. So that's going to end the inning. Uh, the inning. So we I thought he clocked. Uh, so they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Give up a run, but up in the home half of the six. Tied one. Welcome back, and here's the catcher, Austin Leading Wells. For Somerset, the pitch. The Austin Wells. Line drive and a base hit. Good fair ball. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Unfortunate. Hit off Go single. Run on base, and next will be the cleanup hitter, number three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. And a foul ball. The go ahead run aboard at first. We get him with splitter. That was a good one. We get the K, so 11 Ks. Well, you always want those pitches back as a hitter. It caught a lot of the splitter. zone. Definitely not the intended location, but those splitters can dance around and miss a barrel, even when they're not perfectly Last executed. Ball. Owings swings All through it for strike one. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Kicks and fires. Strike down the zone. Up high with a fastball. And we get him. That's number 12. Number two. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch. Dominate this game. Single back to back strikeouts. So. They haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, Ooh, good job. and I hung this one. Ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Oh, oh man, right on the warning track. track. Jesus, I hung one right over the plate. One, one. The pitcher on here, number 69. We pitched seven innings. The season is in the books, and that was a nice we get the win. Coming in the game and closing uh, it out. He's off and running now. But we take and a no decision. Pitch seven innings, three hits, 12 strikeouts, one hour run. Just pretty good. So long. First start in double A. A minor league pitching coach offers advice to a new member of his staff. He's getting some great results as a pitcher early on in his career, and it seems like a lot of folks around the game are taking notice. 
Jim Callis of MLB Pipeline joins me. Jim, what do you make of his work on the mound so far? It's been very impressive. I mean, we look, we always knew this guy had arm strength, but he needed to refine it. And we're seeing Probably that. The next this one. is a guy who, he's not just throwing the fastball. Open he can throw session. multiple pitches. His secondary pitches have gotten better. He's throwing them for strikes. And not just strikes, but quality strikes. He's putting the ball where he wants in the strike yeah. zone. So it's been very impressive. You know, and you can sometimes see, you know, when you're watching prospects in the minors, pitchers in the minors, the guys who are really dialed in, their team loves playing behind them. The defenders mm -hmm. are, you know, engaged. This guy's throwing strikes. The game's moving quickly. They're having success. Yeah, and you can see that with this guy. And to your point about him not relying on the fastball, it seems like double A, as we know, it's where a lot of the elite breaking balls emerge, guys with great sliders, curveballs, even the changeup. Okay. You know, this is where you really start to see those come into play. I think that's really been to his benefit. Yeah, double A is really a proving ground, to be honest with We're you. I mean, it's not just quality start. stuff. I mean, obviously, you have to have quality stuff as a pitcher to get to double A. But if you can't locate it, you're going to get exposed. You know, you And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Minor League Baseball from the double-A level coming up. It's the Redding fighting Phils going up again. First pitch yes. coming your way next. Bottom of the first. Now it's the shortstop. So they already, Jordis Valdez. We've already got a 2 nothing lead. Well, after putting up a nice Not inning on stop. offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering is in for a strike. Apart. And, and swings swing over the top, change up, so start the game off with the strike out. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home. Yeah, so I don't know. And now the count is even. We're going to come inside with the slaughter. Falling oh, behind two and one. Side. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in. You see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. Down in the zone. Up top with the fastball. The pitch. And a foul ball. And get him yeah, in the bottom of the phone with a fastball. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling no. pretty good out there on the mound no because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Here we go, boys. Next offering misses, and it's one and one. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Got him. Got him. Strikes two out the inside. side to begin the game. What a... And welcome Check back. Outside. Half of inning number two. And now the center fielder, Petey Halpin. The center fielder, PD. And first oh, offering man. is fouled off. Comes up empty. That's strike two. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. And Ooh, down on strikes ball. he goes, one out. So digging in, number three. Batting fifth, the first baseman. Oh, in three. there for strike one. Hey, we got one out here. Kicks and deals. Foul ball there. And now the lefty. 
And a Hit him with the, the fastball. Back to back strikeouts. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And a pitch. Form, call the ball. And a count one and two. In the air, right field. And oh, man, hit, it's going to get And that extends the inning. Throws to second. Oh, but he's going to get gunned down by a good throw. That's going to end the inning, so we can't do six up, six down via strikeout. Number 32 for the rubber ducks, the right fielder. The why to kick the pitch. Hard ground right up the middle. Here's the third baseman, number six. First pitch, and he just misses. Number 32 gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swings through that one. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Way out front for strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement on over there. Fastball at pass. Stay out of a double play here. Ooh, the next offering misses. It's two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have Hit him to with get the it up there because up. of how hitters have changed their swings. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One gone. Bottom of the Not third enough. inning. Number 26. Watches that one 26. for a strike. Standing in here with one down. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. And he'll two. Play low. Well, he missed badly with that 0 2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that. Ooh, pitch. get him with so change. Stay ready that thing is dirty. And, a miss. and he's down on strikes. And there's two away. So the lineup flips over. And the batter now, Yordis Valdez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. It off. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Two seam runs. And he's down on in right for the now. second time. Locked in. I don't even know how many Ks we got. Raynell Delgado. Or nothing now. For the rubber ducks. McKay back to hitter. work. Right Going one. The pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. And there's one away. Fly out to the right fielder. Here's the left fielder, number 27. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Left-hand batter waits. And a good eye there. Zone does really chase. Big, especially with two strikes. One, two now. Swing With the two miss, seven. the velocity blasted it right past him. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not now just in pass. terms of swing Center and miss, fielder. but also in PG. terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts yeah. kind of speak Ball. for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey, let's go right here. They say you win. Yeah. Left hand hitter soon. waits. And it's even up. Two inside. Two down now. 
Two down, Let's nobody go. on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And I get him with the changeup anyway. That's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fat. I think it is Ready to go nasty. for the last half of the inning. Now, number three. Leading up for the rubber duck. The wind and the pitch. The first baseman, number three. Upstairs. Oh. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so now. far. His command Bottom has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, hey, he right. misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. And another ball. When you get ahead in the count, Two. there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Next offering is fouled back. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. The 2 1. And a foul ball, third base side. 2 2. Stays alive. Here. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. And that one wraps all the foul. Over the and fouled off. Uh. And we get him with the change. And he struck him out. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. So up next, Aaron Bracho. The switch hitter batting right. And that one fouled off. Plays it first here. Oh, one down. Slice down the right side. Potter. Stays alive. White. Oh, outside. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Next one misses. Can't get him on the slaughter. Even a two. Hey, we got one out here. Change up. Get him with the change up. That's the go to pitch. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Number 32 swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Next offering is in for a strike. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Got him up with that slaughter. Here's the 0-2. That one fouled off. 0-2 now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Ooh, called Next that a ball. That should have been strike three, man. Hey, all right, here we go now. And Hit him with that one. Strikes. That is the inning. Fifth. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Six, now nothing the third now. Baseman. Number six. For the rubber duck. The third baseman. Better dominance on our side. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. The pitch. Out to short. Right play, nope. Not in time. 
doesn't really matter where Single. you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Fought off foul. And he deals. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. Down 0-2. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, Whoa, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Hit him with the, the two-seam. And he got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Well, is in the box now. No balls and a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Let's turn it now. God, this made him look silly on that change up. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Can't glove it cleanly. Steps on first for the out. It's the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work now behind him with another ground ball. Hitter. Good execution. Right uh, and next two is outs. the designated hitter, Raynell Delgado. Foul ball. <whistles> Number six on its Hard. second two down. That's next shot. offering is in for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the Hit him hand. with the fastball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seven. And here is Lydia number 27. The ducks. No left fielder. No First down. offering misses the mark. Side corner for a strike. Here we go, guys. Let's do it. The one two stays alive. Here comes a pitch. A little bit low. A little bit low. Ooh. That's towards center. Muziato got a pretty good piece of that him. one, but one be down. caught by the center fielder. Up seven. I think. Here's the got center one fielder, Petey Halpin. Petey Halpin. Pitch misses one. inside. One and zero. Oh. One ball, no strike. In the air, left field down the line. Grabs Caught it on the left fielder. Two up, two down. Belts. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's going to be number three. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Hey, plays at first, plays at first. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Another 0-2 count right, right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next pitch just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And now the lefty. That Ball. one not close. Now two and two. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. That one ripped. Back there. Uh, oh, the man. Warning. He catches it on the warring track. Jeez, this I thought it was a home run. Now on the We're going to take us now out. We pitch seven good innings. In scoreless. One, the offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. These guys three hits, right fifteen right strikeouts. Seven is nothing.
We're really starting to see some hints of what he could become on the mound. He has been stellar in his latest pitching performances. Al Leiter is with me, and Al, what are you seeing from him out there? A player new to his double-A squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. In the professional ranks, players have to develop not just on the field, but in the weight room as well. Minor league manager Rachel Balkovec joins me. Rachel, how important is it for players to make that progress in their off-the-field training and conditioning? It is absolutely crucial, and I think that more and more, you know, when I first got in the game in 2012, it was relatively new, but now we're talking about if, if you're not doing it, you're behind. So every single it's hard to believe but every single player is lifting two times a week in season at least and that's that's through playing you know six seven days a week they're still lifting before the games which i, I don't think a lot of people understand True. you know how consistent they are and, and and how much that helps them to keep their energy levels up throughout the season Big game three right now we're here one and oh 14 is 27 strikeouts 0.64 era we are dominating. I have to up the five and five. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Some double A baseball coming at you. It's the Harrisburg Senators and the Reading Fighting Phils. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after Redding this. Fight Phil. All right, started. just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Hunter McKay. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Perhaps one of his best outings of the year last time out. Worked deep into the ball game, only gave up three hits. Today, he's going to try to do the exact same thing. Okay, all set to go. Here's the second baseman, number 45. No ball, start the game. He'll do it himself. One up, one down. Now the number two hitter, Brady House. Brady House. Up the middle. Tosses to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Challenging. Two Bang outs, base is empty. The now the left fielder, fielder Nick Banks. Nick Banks. Pitch inside misses ball. inside. Ball one. Kicks and deals. Aye. And now it's even up. Just missed. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Oh, that one off. Or 2-2. Two, two. I didn't fall, but two, two. that's what we're doing. The punch Get out the strike there. out. And good work there as he gets a one. Three. And welcome back. And now no the center outs. fielder, James Wood. Leading off for Harry McKay. Back to work. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. And that one is lifted in the air. Williams has a beat on it. Fielder's got it. The grab one away. Next to hit, Trey Harris. Number ten. Trey Harris. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Second inning here, no score. That one the other way. Makes the grab it. and there's two gone. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Drew Mendoza stands in now and lets that one go for a strike.
Oh, get and him with that slaughter. That was dirty. That. Now to the bottom of the dirty. second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, digging in, Wilson Garcia. Yeah, we got for Harrisburg, the designated hitter, Wilson Garcia. McKay back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there uh, was. That may yeah. press a little run another action. slaughter. Graham is pressing a lot of buttons tonight. The pitch. And now two balls and a strike. A wide to kick the pitch. And strike two. <laughs> Swing and a miss. On the the fastball. Blasted it right past him. Number 25 now at the plate. Batting eight. The third baseman. Number 25. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss there. 0 oh and 2. 0 oh and 2 now. Swings I'm on the slider. Two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, the catcher. a little anxious. Wilmer. Yeah, the batter now, Wilmer, Wilmer Perry. In there, and it's 0 1. Two outs. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. Get him on the fastball. And the inning is over. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's the second out, baseman, out. number 45. For Harrisburg, the second baseman. And there's the strike. Here we go now. Let's go. Fouled off left side. The 0-2. Foul ball, he stays alive. The 0 2. Got him. him on the two, sir. And there's one down. And now it's going to be Brady House. The batter, number nine. Shortstop. Brady. First offering and adjustment. Wow. A lot of balls. You know, one nothing lead. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. That's in there. Hey, one down, one down. And a 1 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The Senators still looking for their first hit in this one. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. And a one-two again. Hit him with the fastball. Struck him out. Now two out. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven the punch outs two. already. Oh. So this lineup hasn't yeah. had much success. Yeah. Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Slow rolling ball first. first. He steps on the bag, that. and it's a one, two, three inning. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now here is James Wood. The Perfect game going for four so Definitely far. A frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing yeah, speeds. Right. Just a difficult one. You tip here. your cap. The pitch. 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Swing <laughs> with the slaughter looking. I can look silly. Jeez. So digging in, Trey the Harris. Number 10, Trey Harris. On the ground. Whips it's it to first. first. And the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Now batting the first base. Drew. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Drew Mendoza. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wings threw that one out in front that two. time. Ooh, now, got him with the change that up. Is that. So Here, five perfect, perfect, perfect five. innings in the books. And welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the DH, Wilson Garcia. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. Hey. Well, didn't really bite looks like these it, hitters man. have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit Him to one change, velocity yeah. and stay there. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Here's the third baseman, number 25. Center field, Rojas. Has this one sized up? And there are two down. And here is Wilmer Perez. Wilmer Perez. First pitch just misses. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. offering his foul back the Senators hitless so far in the game the big lefty turns kicks deals stays alive Fun. two down nobody on he swings and fouls one off. In with the change. Strikes he goes. That's out number three. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Perfect through six. Top of inning number seven. Here's the second baseman, number 45. Leading off for the Senators in the striking baseman. distance, but have number some work 45. to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Ooh, about and hitting. that one almost got him. And here it comes. Hit Swing him with the split. Struck him out. One away. Man, a good splitter can be devastating, can it? I mean, that thing got halfway to the plate. You just did a nosedive. Once you commit your swing, there's just no adjusting your bat path to get down to that ball. And the ball dips below your bat like it's doing the limbo. I see you do the limbo, boo. You get down there, man. Wow. 
Just making him look silly. And two away to start the seven. Two outs, bases empty. Next to hit, Nick Banks. Nick Banks. And that one fouled off. And two outs. Owen oh, Chu now. Third out. The perfection continues. Twenty-one straight have been retired. Perfect. Her seven. Back here at the ballpark, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the center fielder, James Wood. The center fielder, in for a strike. Strike one. There's a strike. The punch out the there. Fastball. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Trey Harris. Oh, there's the a three pitch field. strikeout. He can do whatever Trey. he wants with the baseball right now. Harris. Number 22 get on the move towards foul. Let me get it. My fielder Paulson catches it. Out. Just well, pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. That. If he the does that, field. he's going to be able to go Ooh. up the middle the other way with man, some authority man. instead of a fly out to left. Mendoza stands in now and watches strike one. The Senators yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's not wasting they any pitches. Senators in. Gotta get in the swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Three straight fastballs. So we are perfect through that. eight. So now 24 have been set down in order. Three left. One for the perfect game. We go to the ninth, and now Wilson Garcia. McKay back to work. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. And there's a foul ball. Over the fastball. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Down the third baseman, number 25. Number 25. First pitch, and he just misses. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. Next pitch is Good outside. Ball. That's a strike. Right. The oh the my gosh! Flew for a hit. They're first Jesus! The so we blew it. We had a chance to do a perfect game. Really nice patience in that. It blew worked it. himself into a good count. Really nice job Dang. staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's the catcher to hit. Wilmer Perez. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. So far, this guy's been able to tease the strike zone, gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. And a swing and Counts a miss. On three down pitches. On strikes. Two gone now. So two down now. And here is number 45. Number 45. In the air out Fly to ball center. center. Rojas drifts towards it. Ball game. Well, this guy was so close to getting into the. He got a one hitter. He pitched well all game long. That one hit in the ninth inning, a little disappointing, but he got right back on track to finish it out and get the W for the team. A shutout in this one, three nothing. Our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. What a game! What a game! For the fight. Nine innings, one hit, 18 strikeouts. Jesus.
We're seeing some really big things out of him lately. He's putting himself on the map as an exciting pitching prospect. Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline has the lowdown on all the prospect map. What do you see when you see him on the mound? I think, you know, the, the mound presence really stands out. He's really taken to the pro game, the routine that he has to put in in between each start. That's really one of the biggest things amateurs have to get used to is, what do I need to do in between each start so I'm ready for that <laughs> next start every every fifth day, which is something they're not used to. Uh, no one is a finished product when they come into the pro game. So he, he's really worked with his coaches to refine his stuff. Everything has taken a, a really good step forward. And back to that mound presence, no pitcher takes the mound in every start with all of his stuff ready to go. There are times where something just doesn't work. And the mark of oh, separating a good pitcher from three, a good pitcher the RA. are the ones who can win even without the best stuff. And so far, that's what we've seen from him. Bullpen. For so many prospects, they come in and they have areas of their game that need significant work, whether it's contact, as you noted, or fielding. There's always something that can be tweaked and improved. What was the day that you realized, oh, there's something that I want to add, something that I need to really develop? Well, you want to develop everything. I'll give you my draft day. I got drafted, um, and then I flew to Atlanta, and I actually went out and worked with a, a Hall of Fame first baseman who used to be an outfielder for a couple hours, uh, Willie Stargell, and I don't know. And from that footwork, it carried me through my career. And most people know him as a first baseman, but, you know, he played outfield before that. So it was just uh, two hours of, I could say, torture, but, you know, 22 years of greatness. Post-draft workout with Pops, hard to beat that. All right, so we're going for uh, three and oh, sitting at two and oh, 23 innings, 45 strikeouts, 0.39 ray. And we're going up against another really good pitcher, so this ought to be a good matchup. Welcome to Majestic Green Stadium. Double A baseball on the show coming your way. It's the Reading Fighting Phils and the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And now, your New Hampshire Fisher Cats. About to get started here. Today's starting pitcher, Bowden Francis. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Bottom of the first, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, number six. We got one run early. The, the wind of the pitch. No left fielder. Number six. And that one clips the corner. All one's the count. Hey, all right. Here we go now. Check swing, went around, and the count is 0-2. Hey, we got nobody, no one down here. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Pitches. The velocity blasted Rocky. right past him. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next offering is fouled back. Cut on 
they I'm missed. Struck that. him out and we'll fight. two away now. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, Ooh. table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. The 1-1. One, one. A little out front there as he swings through it. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got it. One fastball. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Bottom of the second. And now the right fielder, Chavez Young. Pitch. Lead up for the Fisher Cats. The right fielder. Swings and lines up. A base perfect game this time. Field. So a man on base to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. Now here is number 13. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. And that misses off the outside edge. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Young on at first, nobody out. And a swing and a miss. One away. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing that around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Number five in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. The 1 0. Fouled off. He was late. The lefty ready. And a 1 1. And that one wrapped foul. Next offering is foul back. Here's a 1 2. In the air, left field. And get that'll down. fall for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Two on, one out. Stepping in, number 28. The center fielder. No, in there one. for strike one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. So the tying run is second. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One out. Runners at first and second. Whoa. Next pitch Damn. misses, and the count is guy. one and two. Right and a ball oh. evens okay. the count. Two on, one out. Got him. I don't know the fast. And now two gone. And now Tanner Morris. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late okay, April. Okay, so we got our first dynamic challenge. Escape our leave any threat on base stranded by retiring this batter. Um. Let's just go strike batter out. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0 0 count. Hey, Looks like he wants the ball right down in his own. And a pitch. Fouled off to the right. Gonna count 1 uh -huh. and 2. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. It's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks no, that's a strikeout, and that'll do Get it for the, the inning. Struck out. Get out of the jam. As we go to the last of the third. Now it's the second baseman, number 31. The second baseman. Number strike on the outside corner. That's strike one. The pitch. Got it, got it, got it. One down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. 
unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Number six, batting with one down, takes a strike. Get him with a high fastball and one bottom. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And now the lefty. And it's fouled away. Way and a miss fun. struck him out, and there's two down. Quite the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Now, Seven punch outs Number already, 41. so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him hey. out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Number 21 in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. And, and, miss, and he struck him out. That's his second. Bottom four. And the batter will be the shortstop. Or Elvis Martinez. Portland Fisher Cat. Not shortstop. In the air left it's field. Number 22. Hey, hey, settles hey, under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. The right fielder. Number 12. Javed. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Chavez Young. Hey, one away. One away. Check swing. Went around. That's strike one. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. Next offering ball misses, one. and that's ball one. One ball, two strikes. Put down. They put him away. You got one down. Base is empty. Stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now two away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. And yeah, there's the strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now here is number five. For the Fisher Cats. The catcher. Next no offering is down no low. Five. And that is ball one. They've got no outs. And fouled off. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Next offering is fouled back. Got him. And um, there's one down. Decent. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Yeah, it's strike two. Uh. I'll try to punt for a hit right there, and you can tell he's trying to get something, anything going offensively. Swing and a pop-up. Brito gets under it. Pulls it in for the out. 
the batter. Yeah, the batter the now. Tanner Morris. Tanner Morris. In there, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Stays alive. The one-two. A foul ball, he stays alive. Just a weak fly ball this time. Mark makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the six. Here's the second baseman, number 31. Leading off for the Fisher Cats. The second baseman. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. Late with the swing there. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. One, two now. And, with a the and, a miss. and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. I'm not sure that was the exact location the, the pitcher wanted, but Number it worked. Six. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. So the batting order turns over at the play. Number six. In there for what do they call that one? Strike, man. That was ball. Outside corner, there's a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Rock out. And down on strikes. Two out. Two outs, space is empty. Now the number now two hitter. Number, number 21. 21. First offering and it just misses. Ball. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And the 1 0. And that one fouled off. Swing and a ball that hammered one. left field. That's back there. He can't get there. Ball. It's a base hit. Safely into second. He's got a double. Breaking ball down and in. Did a nice job at just catching out in front. I like that he didn't spin off the ball by opening up that front hip too early. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Hard on the ground to first. Some and that stay. one finds its way through. So that's two straight, two out hits. Runner holds it third. So even with two outs, they right didn't here. risk it. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Chavez Young. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, two down. In the dirt, but kept close. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is foul back. a one-two and that one lifted in the ball air ball. center field and that'll do it. welcome back and now the first baseman number 13 leading off for the Fisher Cat. and the pitch the first baseman number 13 that's in for a strike no outs here the pitch 
And he takes a strike. The wide to kick the pitch. Stays alive. The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. Hit weakly on the ground towards second. Gets it to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Number five in the box again. Takes a strike. And a pitch. He swings and it's a ball. fly ball. Center field. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two outs. And here now is that. number 28. Number 28. That one's in there, 0 and 1. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. To the right side, Akami collects Ball it. The first he handles it himself. Out for three. It's their seven. Ryan Sheriff gets the call from the pen. Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on get the, the W pitch know. seven four hits 13 score, strikeouts zero runs. In the bottom half of that they did just that today dominated this game happy with This young player has been flying up prospect rankings, drawing attention from scouts and, and from baseball media. Why all the attention, Al? And at what point can we know we're no longer just looking at a hot minor leaguer on a streak and we're onto something more? Well, he's getting the attention because he deserves it. Listen, you know, at some point when you put a lot of hard work in as he has, uh, it's obvious, and then the success comes with it. The statistics are lining up with what everybody sees, the scouts in the stands, everybody who has some sort of evaluation on the minor leaguers and specifically with his talent. I think it's just a matter of enjoying what he's done. And once you see a player that starts believing in it, and I believe that we're, get, we're seeing that with this player, I think it just really just grows right and it gets better and better their ability to understand who they are and then just refine it there's a refinement every single game is a little different and when you watch the nuance of really good players that are in a groove and getting better they're only going to continue to improve so we're sitting at 3-0 with a point three zero ERA 30 innings 58 strikeouts First month double A baseball. Up against the same pitcher again. Welcome, thanks for All right, just about set to go, and on the hill in this one, Bowden Francis. Leading off. Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow Don't a run, fielder. pitched extremely Double well. Eight. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. Next offering is in for a strike. And hey, we got no outs. The wind of the pitch. And one fouled off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. 
No, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Room. Nobody oh, can get there, and it's a foul. Got it. The one two. And a foul ball. He stays foul ball. alive. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. The pitch. Liner to second. Iceman's going to get it. To first. Two up, two down. Batting third. Not shortstop. Or LV. Or LV Martinez Martin will hit down. next. Foul ball there. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. Oh, Ugly yeah. swing right there. The pitch. They and a swing and a miss. Slaughter. And that's that. End of it's one, and we're still. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Chavez Young. For the Fisher Cats. The right First pitch doesn't find the zone. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Good eye right there. Hey, plays that one now. Hey, no outs now. A wind in the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Challenge. Here's a 2-2. Stays alive. The pitch. In the air, center field. Ball, ball, ball. And there's one away. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Number 13. And now, go, number 13. Now. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And he'll one. Late on that fastball. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues uh, to climb the ladder. Uh, yeah, Frito picks it up over move. to first. Already two out no. here in the home half of inning number two. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's going to be number five. In there for strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Two. Swings and misses. Ball, and I said. Good work there as he gets a one, two. Th Set for the bottom of the third. Leading off, number 28. Leading off, McKay. Back to work. The center fielder. And that's number a strike. 28. The pitch. Ball one there. Get down. One and one. 
the 1 1. And now 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes, the count. And the pitch. Got him swinging. Oh. Lead off hitter gone in the third. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite Not side, again. but that pitch but really got in it. on him right there. Yeah. That's a well thrown pitch. Oh, Tough man. to do anything hey, with that one. in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. And a foul have to ball. Up the difficulty. And he flips the breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. And a pitch. And now two and two. Stop. On the Get run, it. sends it over to first. He does. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now it's the second baseman, number 31. Number 31. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. Foul ball. Two outs. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Three. I don't know my outside corner. Inning over. Nine straight here to start the Bottom of the fourth, and the batter now, number six. We're nothing lane. The left fielder. There's the strike. Oh, no that clips the corner. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and deals. Swing out. and a miss. Struck him out. And one away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Number Hitters, 21. especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And first offering is fouled off. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down any time. Swing and a miss. Handcuffed him with that slider. Picks up strikeout number seven. Two outs. Base is empty. And now the shortstop. Or Elvis Martinez. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swing and a ball popped up. And a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Loop that one in there for the knock. Definitely got that pitch on the outside of the cap a little bit, but he made it work for him. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And here's the first baseman, number 13. For the Fisher Cats, the first baseman. First pitch, and he just misses. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Here's a 1 1. And that's through there for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plane. The punch out there, the and that's plate. the first out. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up, and 
It's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. And one and two. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. The one, two. Swing and a miss. Hey, silly on the slaughter. Two away. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up Number some more before he's done in this one. And no, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Hard liner is in the double. The left base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even now, when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands now, tight to your body so red. you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Left hand batter waits. On the run, throw to first. Bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Lead number 31. The, Fisher Cats. the second baseman. Number first 31. pitch, just misses. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Next offering is in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to oh, one velocity it, it, and it. stay there. I got, it. I got it. Drops into the glove, one up, one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had now pretty bad. good timing on it, Number just got six. underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Number six Eight. in the box now. No balls in a strike. And now the lefty. One oh. Next offering is foul back. And a one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The pitch. That misses the zone, and that's I ball two. One. I thought it was going to hit him. Yeah, Why to kick the pitch? This one popped up. Foul ground, move. first base side. Akami settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. Now batting. Number 21. Number 21 digs in now. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. I have nothing to lead now. Swing and a Sorry. miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes. In time today. Bottom of the seventh. Now for Elvis Martinez. Leading off for the Fisher Cats. Well, There's the strike. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Hard. Cut on and miss. Struck two same room. So he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far not showing a ton of signs of fatigue young stands in now and watches strike one and that's just foul Got him. that's his second strikeout 
Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Number 13 in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Ball to strike. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The one two. Fouled off. He was late. Hey, plays that first. Plays that first. Next oh, offering that's is down strike low. Three, three, man. It's a good miss. And a pitch. Stays alive. Short hop liner handled it short. The throw, and that'll do it. Seven. This one pretty well at this point. The new pitcher in the game, Joe Gatto. Eight nothing is how this one ends. Eight nothing. Chris Singleton Seven is two hits, 13 strikes. Here at MLB the show. And number four, I believe. So we are sitting we're through our first month of baseball. Sitting at 4 0, an ERA of 0 0.24, 37 in the 71 strikeouts. So, yeah, we're going to difficulty. But I think for tonight, we're going to call that not. So yeah, we're gonna end that right here. So first road to the show, Xbox, Hunter McKay, a left-handed pitcher. Station with double A on the bottom field. But we're four no right now with an ERA of .24, 37 and 71 strikeouts. So we are pretty much locked in and dominating. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Hanging out, being a part of this um, on a Friday night. Um, if you guys would, just check me out. Dude, make sure you see the channel. And um, yeah, uh, should be seeing you guys Tuesday night for live stream. Yes, we have a bonus stream this weekend. I don't know if we will. If we do, I'll send something out.